What's going on everybody? Welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Ricky Somborn and today we're going to learn how to play Watermelon Sugar by Harry Styles on the good old uke. As always with every tutorial that I upload here, I will include a skip to section right here so you can skip to the chords, chord progression, or the strumming if you don't want to sit through an entire 10 minute video. I get it, uh, but if you do, that'd be awesome. But again, all that stuff will be right here so you can skip to the chords, the strumming, chord progression, whatever you want in the video. Also, I do want to note that I will be do uploading a full play along of this song that basically is me singing and playing and also have the chords and lyrics on screen so it's super easy for you to play along. I will make sure to link it in the description, also in the top comments when that video goes live. So make sure to come back to this channel and see when I upload it. Also, hit the bell notification uh, down below if you haven't already. That basically just lets you know whenever I do upload a new video to YouTube and you'll get a notification for that. So with all that said and done, again, skip to wherever you want. If you want to watch the entire 10 minute video, I'd love you as well. But let's get into the chords that we need for this song. So the chords that we need for this song are A minor 7, C, D minor, and last but not least, G. So if you're like, Ricky, I know all those chords, let's move on to the chord progression or strumming, I got you. I will again include that skip to section right here. So you can skip to whatever section in the video that you want. Um, again, more power to you. Go ahead, do your thing. But if you're like, Ricky, I don't know any of these chords. I just started playing last week, today, an hour ago. Please help me. Don't worry. This is why this video exists. We're going to go step by step on where to put our fingers for each chord on the uke. And then we'll talk about the chord progression and then the strumming. So if you're like, Ricky, I need to learn the chords, then just keep on watching. But before we dive into the chords, let's quickly talk about how we number the strings and the frets. So let's pick up our uke. And the top string is going to be the fourth string. The next one down is going to be the third. The next one down is going to be the second. And the last one at the bottom, you probably guessed it, that's going to be the first string. So it's going to be four, three, two, one. Now let's go ahead and look at our fretboard. And as you can see on this uke, you have these lines right here. So this is going to be the first fret, second fret, third fret, fourth fret, fifth fret and then so on. Now it's pretty impressive without me kind of not being able to see. But again, you have these frets right here. So if you do need a little bit more time on just kind of memorizing the numbers of the strings and the frets, make sure to press the pause button right now and just get really familiar. Take a look at your you can be like, I got the strings down. I got the frets down. I got this press play and let's talk about the chords coming up next. So as always with every tutorial, I will include a visual representation right here. Just I feel like it's a lot easier where you can visually see where you need to put your fingers on the uke and then also me talking you through it. So again, that's going to be always right there and you're going to see exactly where you need to put your fingers on the uke. So the first chord that we need is the A minor 7 chord and this one is probably one of the easiest chords that you can play because you literally keep your fingers off the uke. So it's literally open string, all four strings. So A minor seven is just going to be open string. So again, it's just going to be. So literally you keep your fingers off the strings and that's an A minor seven. The next chord that we need is the C chord and how we're going to play this one is you're going to take your ring finger and you're going to place your ring finger on the first string, which again is the bottom string first string, third fret, and it should sound like this. The next chord that we need is the D minor chord and how we're gonna play this one is you're gonna take your pointer finger and you're gonna place your pointer finger on the second string, first fret. Then you're gonna take your middle finger and you're gonna place it over the top two strings, which is the fourth and third string on the second fret, and it should sound like this. The last chord that we need for this song is the G chord and how we're going to play this one is you're going to take your pointer finger and you're going to place your pointer finger on the third string, second fret. Then you're going to take your middle finger and you're going to place it on the first string, second fret. Then you're going to take your ring finger and you're going to place it on the second string, third fret, and it should sound like this. So 
So those are all the chords that you need for this song. Again, if you do need a little bit more time, make sure to hit the pause button right now and make sure you're really comfortable with where to put your fingers for each chord and then also transitioning between the chords and making sure that the sound is nice and crisp. So if you're just going from the A minor to C, D minor and G, make sure they sound nice and crisp. If you hear a muted sound, if it's more of like a that basically just tells you that you need to add a little bit more pressure to the strings. So again, just kind of make sure that your fingers are positioned correctly and you're adding enough pressure to the strings. All right, so let's quickly talk about the chord progression for the song, which is super simple because it's the same throughout the entire song. So once you memorize that, you literally have the entire song down. So the chord progression is going to be D minor, A minor seven, C, and then G. So it's going to be again D minor, A minor 7, C, and then G. So I'm going to make sure to keep that chord progression on the screen. So again, it's just going to be D minor, A minor 7, C, and then G. So now that we know the chord progression, let's talk about strumming coming up next. All right, so we learned the chords and now we just learned about the chord progression. Let's talk about how we're going to play this song with the strumming. One thing I do want to note is if you don't feel comfortable just yet with strumming and singing at the same time, if you're like, Ricky, I just started playing. I don't want to do strumming just yet. You can literally just do down strums whenever you see a chord change, which I will have the chords and lyrics in the description below, the full chords and lyrics. So you can copy and paste it, keep it on your computer, laptop, iPhone, tablet, whatever you have, you can have it there for you and you can just practice at your own pace as well. Uh, so again, everything will be in the description below. So whenever you do see a chord change, just make sure to strum down. But if you're like Ricky, I'm ready to include strumming into the song. Let's talk about how we're gonna do that right now. So as we mentioned previously, the chord progression is going to be D minor, A minor seven, C, and G. So I'll make sure to keep that progression on the screen. So we're gonna start with the D minor chord and it's gonna be down, up, up, down, up, up, down, up. So that's gonna be the strumming pattern. So let's do that one more time. In three, two, one, down, up, up, down, up, up, down, up. Let's do that one more time. In three, two, one, down, up, up, down, up, up, down, up. So now that we know the strumming pattern, let's go through the entire four chords. So again, it's going to be D minor, A minor seven, C, G. So let's do that strumming pattern with the chord progression in three, two, one, down, up, up, down, up, up, down, up, down, Feel like we almost have it let's do that one more time we're going to start off with a d minor so in three two one down up up down up up down up 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 so that's the strumming for this song again if you don't feel comfortable just yet with strumming you can always do a down strum and it'll sound just as awesome. Again, I will like to mention that I did do a full play along for the song. I'll link it in the description and in the top comments. I'll be uploading that soon. So if you're watching this in the future, it'll already be live. So make sure to go check out that video after you watch this one. Again, it does have the chords and lyrics on screen. So it's a super easy play along video. And I, I like how it came out. So I would love that if you could watch it, make sure to give that video a thumbs up and leave a comment on that video as well. So that is pretty much it. Congratulations, you now know how to play Watermelon Sugar by Harry Styles on the good old uke. All right, so that's it. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure to hit the red subscribe button below if you haven't already. Also hit the bell notification to be notified every single time I upload a video. And also the most important thing is if you give this video a thumbs up, that basically just tells YouTube that this video is awesome and it will hopefully, fingers crossed, share it out to more people. So I would love you forever if you gave this video a thumbs up and then also left a comment below letting you know what you thought about this tutorial or if you have any future recommendations for songs or tutorials or whatever, leave them in the comments section below. 
Don't forget to follow me on Instagram. We've reached over 55,000 Instagram family members and I would love for you to join if you haven't already. Make sure to send me a DM letting me know what video you came from and if you have any song recommendations, questions about ukes, uke sizes, different brands, I would love to chat and get to know you. So again, send me a DM or leave them in the comments section below. If you've been looking at my uke and you're like, Ricky, what uke is this? This is the Ola Ukulele. It is a concert size uke and it's absolutely amazing. It's sort of a turquoisey, bluey green color. And this is actually one of the ukes that I reviewed for my under $75 Amazon ukuleles. Super affordable and great playing. Definitely one of my favorites in my collection. Again, I'll leave this link in the description below. So make sure to go check it out if you're interested in getting this beauty of a uke. Again, super awesome. The sound is great. Great. and it was like 65 70 bucks so literally super affordable and because if you're not if you don't want to spend like $200 on a uke uh, this is definitely a great find if you do want to watch that video I have three other two other ukes three ukes in total I'll link it up here it'll say uh, click here for the Amazon video uh, basically I just talked through three ukes that I found that were under $75 that were actually really awesome so this is def this was one of them and definitely one of my favorites in the collection so again everything will be in the links in the description if you want to go check this uke out and you want to get it for yourself I highly recommend you will not be disappointed and the color is really amazing and it does come in brown as well if green is not your color and if you just want to go more traditional and you want to have brown they have that for you as well so that's it thank you so much for hanging out with me for these 10 15 minutes i really do love hanging out just relaxing and learning a new song with you if you did like this video again make sure to leave a thumbs up and leave a comment below and i'll see you in my next video bye